Former Latter-day Saint President Spencer Kimball has a book. It's called The Miracle of Forgiveness. I posted a quote the other day from it on my Instagram story. I got some interesting responses. But I think Latter-day Saints were missing the point as to why I was actually quoting him. I was quoting him because what he says in his book does not line up with the biblical gospel, even though Latter-day Saints today say that it is the biblical gospel. So which is true, we're going to examine it right now. I'm going to go over some of his quotes and compare it to what the Bible actually says. So the quote that I put on my story, it was summarized like this. Kimball said that those who get baptized in the Latter-day Saint Church and regularly attend services but die without perfecting their lives will receive no second chances in the hereafter. The point is that Latter-day Saints must perfect their lives in order to have eternal life. He says men and women who live in mortality and who have heard the gospel here and have had their day, their 70 years to put their lives in harmony, to perform the ordinances and to repent and perfect their lives. You cannot delay repentance is his point. He explains on page 325 that forgiveness is not granted merely for the asking, but there must be works, many works, and an all-out total surrender with a great humility and a broken and contrite spirit. And he confirms this by saying again that it depends on your humility, your sincerity, your works, your attitudes. It depends on you whether or not you are forgiven. He even goes so far as to say that the desire or urge to sin must be cleared out of a person's life in order to be forgiven and receive eternal life. So what Kimball and the LDS Church teach is this, that you cannot have eternal life unless you believe live a constant life of repentance so much so that you get rid of every desire to sin and do temple works. So a person cannot simply believe and then die the next day not having been baptized or done any works in the temple um, to receive eternal life. If a person has done that, they cannot receive eternal life. Those works, whether done in this life or the next life, they have to be done. So this puts a lot of pressure on people. This puts a lot of fear and anxiety into people. No Latter-day Saint knows for sure if they will make it to eternal life with God. This isn't the gospel. What does Jesus say? Jesus says in John 5, 24, Truly, truly, I say unto you, whoever hears my word and believes in him who sent me has, present tense, has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Again in John 6, 47, truly, truly, I say unto you, whoever believes has eternal life. So many people miss this, that Jesus has already done the work. Jesus has done it for us. Jesus is the one who has lived the perfect, righteous, sinless life that Latter-day Saint presidents and their entire church expects Latter-day Saints to live. Jesus has already done it. And the reason why we can have eternal life through faith alone is because when we have that faith, Jesus' righteousness is now credited to us. It's called imputation. The righteousness of Christ is put into our account. When God goes and looks at us at the day of judgment, he does not see us as wicked, rotten sinners. He looks at us and he sees the righteousness of Christ that was imputed to us. And therefore, he can declare us righteous. And it's just so unfortunate to so many people in the world today. They're trying to work and merit eternal life. They're trying so hard. They're, they're putting so much pressure on themselves and, and putting such a burden on themselves to live perfectly, to do everything right when they can't. That's why Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life on this earth. Matthew 23, 4 says this, Speaking of the Pharisees, they tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger. Jesus is talking about the Pharisees giving the people these different works they had to do, a long list of works, to be able to merit eternal life. But what Jesus says this, but Jesus says this, Come unto me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus says, I will give rest to those who are burdened by trying to earn eternal life through their works. Get it for us, guys.
That's the point. Jesus did it for us. So we can trust in a perfect Savior rather than our imperfect selves. That is the beauty of the gospel. Jesus did something that we could never do, and he paid a debt that he did not owe. We received eternal life that we did not earn. It's only through his grace and his love for us that we receive this.